until the box is open. Is there even anything inside there? A void. Or is it empty? Is it just a vacuum? A void. A void. Just waiting. Hello, and welcome to another corporate sponsored episode of Mystery Box. Today, my producers were not even able to fit the car into the mystery box, which is a bit of a mystery in itself. However, they do assure me that it was sent to them directly from Mattel and that I had better say nice things about it because now I work for Mattel. Let's take a look inside. Oh, it appears to be a premium car. A premium version of, oh, this is one of those classic Hot Wheels. Bone Shaker. From Boulevard. So this is, well, let's take a look. Let's get it out of the package. Because if I am correct, this is one of the sort of classic hot roddy um, Hot Wheels. Uh, like a, a sort of famous one. And um, so it makes sense that they would do a premium version. It's got rubber wheels. And uh, oh, this is this is why it's called the Bone Shaker. It's got a skull instead of chrome. Uh, well, a chrome skull instead of a grill up front. Hmm. And it's that. It looks like skeleton hands holding two headlights. Headlights, not tubes. Yeah, the wheels are rubber. I like these flames around the door. They're cool. Big exhausts, big uh, exaggerated exhausts. Oh, and there's another skull on the on the hood here by the engine, the exposed engine. So yeah, this is one of those Hot Wheels, um, you know, fantasy hot rods. Um, very cool though. It looks it looks sort of based on um, you know, you know, an old Ford, but like. Long, like pulled, stretched, and, and sort of squished, and, and made for speed, um, and uh, has kind of an outlaw vibe with the flames and the skull, you know, a sort of one percenter vibe. Um, yeah, it's very cool, very cool. Um, metal on metal, uh, the top is matte black. Um, which I am always a sucker for. Um, yeah, I would like this better if I had uh, hadn't been sent to. Well, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and be honest to you. When I said that uh, I'd been sent this by Mattel, I meant that Mattel designed it and put it in a box and sent it to a Walmart, and Walmart put it on the shelf and sold it to me at full price. And then um, I brought it home. But I thought that it would sound good if I said that Mattel sent it to me. Um, like it would make you respect my opinion about this car more. But I think we're all entitled to our opinions, you know? Even if we have to pay for our own cars, I think we're allowed to decide what's cool and what isn't. This is very cool. The flames. Um, I love the open roof. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I don't know a lot about the bone shaker, but if I'm not mistaken, um, some of the versions of it come with a roof. Um, not that it's convertible or anything, but just that there's different, there's different versions. The, the fuel tank in the back looks exceptional. Um, I think these are shocks or I'm not sure what that's meant to represent. I, I'm, I'm excited to see how this rolls.
Oh wow, it rolls. It rolls really nicely um, on the rubber wheels. And uh, it looks great in motion. The bone shaker, flames, that chrome skull. Imagine pulling up to your to your high school prom in this. There's no more pr it like. Yeah. I almost broke my own heart there. I hope that you're having uh, a good night, and I hope that you enjoyed uh, today's mystery car, the Bone Shaker. Um, from the Boulevard series. Uh, very cool. Makes me want to seek out other other versions of uh, this car at some point. But it's hard to find the time. Very cool, though. Very, very cool.